It's new hope for patients with one of the world's most deadliest cancers, that's pancreatic cancer. A new treatment option is showing great promise by significantly improving remission rates. This is great news. Here with details on college surgeon Dr. Robert Martin and pancreatic cancer survivor Judy Kelly. Good morning to both of you. Good morning. Good morning. All right, so Dr. Martin, let's talk about the results of the study. This is pretty uh, promising news we're hearing. It is. We're very excited. Obviously, I think it shows uh, and demonstrates new hope, especially in patients with stage three pancreatic cancer. Mm -hmm. The recent data that we presented in um, San Diego last week shows that the 200 patients that were treated in combination with chemotherapy, IRE, or irreversible electroporation, the trade name being NanoKnife, mm -hmm. um, and chemoradiation therapy demonstrated a doubling in the overall survival wow. when you compared that to historical just chemotherapy or chemoradiation therapy. Wow, that's that's pretty incredible. That's not just an incremental thing. That's that's quite uh, amazing. We're taking a look at a dig digital imagery of it right now. Is essentially you're you're going straight to the source and you're you're putting it straight to the source as opposed to kind of having it go near the source. That's correct. Yeah. Ultimately, what we're doing is we're placing usually four needles that bracket the tumor and essentially electrocute the tumor. Wow. And when we electrocute the tumor, what we do is we open a permanent doorway into the cell. With that doorway, electrolytes flow in, specifically calcium. That calcium influx actually induces auto-programmed cell death. And so what we're able to do is, is treat and kill the cancer but not damage the vital structure that the cancer is commonly invading or encasing. I'll tell you, man, technology is amazing. Uh, pancreatic cancer patients who have very few options, this must be uh, looking very good lately. Yes. Uh, uh, who's eligible for this procedure? Is it anybody in particular? It's a good question. The main people that we're focused on now are obviously patients with stage three um, pancreatic cancer or the rare patients with stage four mm -hmm. who are able to eradicate their metastatic disease with uh, upfront chemotherapy. What we're able to do with that is to be able to improve their median overall survival uh, out to 24 months. Wow. Now, Sean, you may say, wow, that's maybe not that long. That's, that's pretty short. Well, I think we need to take it in context. And what I mean by that is, is that if you look at just standard chemo or chemo radiation, yeah. even up to 2015, that baseline survival still hovers about 12 to 13 months. Wow. The other thing to realize also is that 50% of those patients are actually living much longer. And so this data demonstrates that we're actually able to significantly improve the quality of life years in patients with stage three pancreatic cancer. Which is incredibly important. Judy, let's, let's talk about uh, you and your, your cancer story, your diagnosis. Uh, what, what did your doctors tell you and, and what were your chances that you were told at least of survival and treatment options? Well, I was diagnosed in August of 2010 with stage three inoperable. Um, it was pretty much devastating news to me and my family. Yeah. Um, pretty much a death sentence at that point. The doctors then probably gave me six to nine months to live. Wow. And, and how long has it been since your surgery now? And, and uh, you used the IRE procedure, didn't you? I used the IR pre IRE procedure, and in August, it'll be four years. Wow. Oh, there we go. See, your doctor, you're not kidding around. Judy, Judy's, uh, you're, Judy, <laughs> you're a ninja. You're a ninja. You, you kicked it <laughs> off. I love it. That's right. Well, what, what advice would you give other patients to do? We've got about 30 seconds left, but when people get this diagnosis, obviously it shakes them to, to the core. What, what advice would you, would you give them? Um, first uh, advice would be to call Dr. Martin, see if they're able to have the IRE procedure. If not, um, stay positive. Just keep searching for everything and anything. Get second, third, fourth opinions, and do a lot of praying. Judy, we're incredibly proud of you. Uh, again, congratulations. You're, you're looking great. And doctor, great job, buddy. Thank you. Thank you very much. It's great having you. See what uh, you heard about this morning, this breakthrough treatment for those living with pancreatic cancer. Again, you can check out our website. It's VegasMorningBlend.com. Dow, I'm heading over there to you right now. And here 